With the Summer Olympics in full swing, all eyes are on Olympians. Not just for their athletic prowess, but what they're wearing as well. Opening ceremonies in Ralph Lauren, from Kim Kardashian's company Skims, but what about swim caps? Recently, a supposed ban on Afro swim caps has taken the internet by storm. One post on Instagram received over 200,000 likes saying that there wasn't just a ban, but that the official committee stated that elite athletes don't require caps of such size. These kind of swim caps are meant to protect Afro texture hair while in the water and work to make the sport of swimming more inclusive. And it seems like they're saying that an elite athlete wouldn't have afro hair. I find this post to be pretty upsetting and when I see a post that causes this much emotion, I wanna be sure to fact check it. Hey everyone, it is Suna and welcome back to Is This Legit? A series brought to you by MediaWise and PBS News Hour Student Reporting Lab. If you're new here, we teach you how to fact check claims circulating on social media. When we start any fact check, the first question we should ask ourselves is who's behind the information? Turns out it's an account called The Shade Room, which has 24 million followers. When I look through their posts, I can get a feel for what they usually share. The Shade Room seems to be focused on celebrity tea or gossip, specifically black celebrities, Snoop Dogg updating on his family, or Issa Rae who stars in Insecure Getting Married. If you click on the link in their bio, visit their website and click on the about page, you can see a statement from the founder saying, the Shade Room started as pure entertainment and that gossip remains their primary focus. So we know that The Shade Room isn't a normal news site, so we should be even more critical when we get into the rest of this fact check. This brings us to our second question. What's the evidence? What evidence is The Shade Room using for this claim? Let's get back to the post and see if they've listed any sources or official quotes. The caption says that they use Yahoo News as a source. I did a keyword search with the words Yahoo News, Tokyo Olympics, and Swim Cap Ban and came across this article. It explains that FINA, the International Federation for Competition and Water Sports, aka the governing body for international swimming competitions, has general rules stating that manufacturers must submit swimmer to FINA for approval before use in competition, which SoulCap did last year but the design application was denied. But what is SoulCap? We can click on this hyperlink and find this company's about page. According to the British company, it's a swim cap redesigned to fit natural Afro hair. Often, African-American women swimmers don't wear their hair naturally because it doesn't fit under the traditional design swim cap. So the need for this new cap does exist, but let's keep researching before we decide what to think about the ban on this swim cap brand. The article states that FINA banned the design of Soul Cap, a specific brand, but the Shade Room claim is about banning swim caps for Afro hair, not just Soul Cap. The FINA ban was only against this one company, not caps for natural hair as a whole. When I looked through the list of FINA's approved brands, I found that there were no products created for or geared towards black athletes. Many other outlets are reporting an outright ban on Afro hair products, but there's some important context missing. The rejection from FINA was for a specific product, not a blanket ban on swim caps designed for Afro hair. I know, it seems kind of nitpicky, but when it comes to fact checking, we always need to be precise. Let's focus on the second part of the Shade Room's claim. FINA stating that elite athletes don't require caps of such size. First, we've got to question that claim because Alice Deering, the first black swimmer to make their Olympic team is sponsored by SoulCap. But we want to figure out where this statement actually came from. This is called reading upstream. Is it a quote from the leader of FINA or did it come from a press release from other Olympic committees? The Shade Room says that it came from an official committee so we should head back to our Google search and type in the quote from the post along with FINA. After scrolling through a bunch of articles, the earliest mention of the quote I found was in a BBC News article. It states that FINA told SoCap that their best knowledge, the athletes competing at the international events never used, neither required to use a cap of such size and configuration. The BBC News then said that FINA has neither confirmed nor denied that they made this comment. This quote isn't coming directly from FINA, but from SoCap saying what FINA allegedly told them. This is starting to sound like a game of telephone. So we don't know for sure if FINA actually said what's in the Shade Room's post. I kept digging for that statement from FINA itself, so I looked up FINA's statement about SoulCap. Although I wasn't successful in finding the original quote, I found this media statement. 
It says that FINA is currently reviewing the situation with regards to SOCA and similar products, understanding the importance of inclusivity and representation. Clearly, FINA is responding to the outrage that their ban sparks, but whether or not the quote is accurate cannot be verified. What we do know is that FINA did reject an application for SOCAP to be registered in the Olympic Games, but it did not make a general ban of Afro swim caps, and that decision is being reviewed. It's important to remember that The Shade Room is a gossip page. They tease viewers about breakups or new relationships on a thumbnail and keep their Instagram audience engaged by making big, bold headlines that tap into followers' emotions. As for The Shade Room's claim, I'm going to rate it as needs context. While they cited Yahoo News, they made a broad statement about the rejection from FINA and included an unverified quote. Posts that agree with your beliefs are the ones you need to look out for the most. When you find yourself automatically agreeing with something or automatically upset by it, that's when you're most susceptible to believe misinformation. Thank you for watching today and be sure to subscribe and follow us across all social media platforms. See you next time. Don't compromise, be media wise.